Hallelujah TV Changing the world from pain to praise Nguvu ya Omega mtazamaji wa Hallelujah TV Mbele yako ni dada Jean Munishi ambaye ni mzaliwa wa Seychelles lakini mkazi wa Morogoro ambaye alipata changamoto ya kuteguka pingili za mgongo mara baada ya kuanguka Kwa majina naitwa Jean Munishi natokea Morogoro. Kwa kweli nina kama wiki moja na nusu mbili nilianguka nikategua pingili za mgongo. Pingili za mgongo. Ambayo ilinifanya nikaambiwa kwamba nivae mkanda huu. Uvae huo mkanda. Nilikuja hapa nikiwa sijiwezi kabisa hata kusimama wala kukaa maumivu yalikuwa makali sana nilikwenda hospitali wakaniambia kwamba natakiwa kufika Dar es Salaam kwa ajili ya MRI waweze kujua jinsi ya kufanya operation kwa ajili ya pingili kama unavyotazama kwenye runinga yako mtu wa Mungu na BSS Walinga alipata nafasi au neema ya kumuombea Jean Munishi kwa kumwekea mkono japo kuwa mwanzo alikuwa haamini na kuhisi kwamba watu walikuwa wanaigiza Alihisi nguvu ya Mungu ikimgusa naye akasikia mabadiliko katika mwili wake. Nikaletwa mahali hapa. Ndiyo. Kwa ubishi nikasema hivi kweli watu wanadondoka dondoka humu mimi nitapona? Mhm. Uh-huh. Oh they are pretending. People they are pretending. People are pretending. Kwa hiyo kama unaona wanao dondoka wanajidondosha. Yaani naona kama vile they are made they are made yani wametengenezwa wametengenezwa ili wadondoke yes oh but as time goes niko huko ndani yes. i was i was feeling the presence of god wow just put your hands together for presence of god uh, huh? i was feeling like i'm having electric shocks from my legs yes. to my head uh huh like kitu inanichoma choma humu huku kote huku hasen am i made no i'm not made it's me is it me i'm looking at myself kama maybe i'm pretending but no i'm not pretending it's me anajiuliza maswali anajijibu the power of holy spirit holy spirit breathe in me Kwambia jirani yako Holy Spirit breathe in me. Yes. When Holy Spirit breathe in you, you will see the presence of Holy Spirit. Anasema hao watu wanajiangusha yakamkuta yeye. Eh. Eh, yakamkuta? Aya sikiliza maneno hapa. Eh? Mara baada ya kuombewa na mtu wa Mungu na BSS Walinga alitoa kifaa ambacho alikuwa amevaa kwa ajili ya kumsaidia kwa ajili ya pingili za mgongo ambacho kinafahamika kwa jina la Lamba Concert na baada ya hapo kupata nafu na kuanza kuruka ruka Nashuhudia kwamba mara baada ya hapo alipata nafu na kuponywa kabisa Ulivyokuja kunigusa Ndiyo Nikaanza unajua when you get a shot ya umeme ukigusa umeme au maji ya umeme miguu inaanza kutekenya kwanza huku chini. Sasa I feel something one leg inanitekenya huku mguu mmoja. Alafu mguu mwingine. And then naona shot ya umeme inapanda mpaka huku juu. I was like kuna nimemedi nimegusa waya ya umeme somewhere. But somebody when you touched me prophet sasa nikasikia kitu kama mtu amenipiga msumari mmoja hapa ti nyingine huku alafu ile shot inapanda mpaka huku i feel my hair is standing like this standing like this hallelujah svela interested testimony and then i was down i did not know what happened from that time My mother came quickly running she thought I'm going crazy. Uh-huh. Akanikumbatia akanambia are you okay? 
I said, yes, I'm okay. Are you not feeling pain? I am said, I'm not feeling no pain. You are lying. I said, I'm not lying. I will bend down. I bend. You know? Do that. I was doing that. That. Are you okay? I said, mom, I'm okay. She's still not sure if I'm okay, you know? So I started running and kneeling down and putting, doing this and that and that. And you know? And she's like, Okay, you're okay. I said, yeah, I'm okay. You know? So I said, mom, believe it. God is here. There's people are not pretending. God is around. <laughs> wow. Wow. Put your hand together once again. What do you feel now? I feel like running 100 kilometers and running and never stopping until I find my God. Wow. I want to see him. I want to see my God. Put your hands together for this wonderful testimony. Just learn, my daughter. Learn. Learn. Wow. Uh, up on the land, 100 kilometers. Learn. You are free. You are free. Serious. Yeah? No pain. I'm okay. You are free. I don't feel no pain. Yeah. God is here, people. God is here. God is here. God is here, Mama. Thank Put your hands together for wonderful testimony, church. Once again, glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to Jesus Christ. Amen. Church, just give him praise. Amen. Church, just give him praise. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Give him praise and honor. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. That is the living God. That is Jesus Christ. That's the master planner. That's the master of masters. The Lord of lords. The God of gods. No one like you, Jesus Christ. Wow. Now I feel better. You feel better. Very better. Very better. Better. Wow. I'm feeling good. Wow. Wow. Unaambiaje watu wanaokutazama all over the world, watu wa Seychelles, watu wa Morogoro, wa Tanzania, watu wa Leluya TV, America, kila mahali duniani kote. Unawaambiaje? People, family, everybody. These people are not pretending. I thought they were pretending, but come and find the power of God here. There is God. There is God. God is around. God is with us. If you have hope and believe in him with all your heart that he can heal you, he will heal you. But if you come for testing him and seeing if people are pretending, he will never help you. Have faith in God and he will do wonders in your life. Unajisikiaje mama mwanao ana fly? Kwa kweli nashukuru Mungu. Wow. Sina kazi ya kufanya maka ni kwa naenda subuhi mchana naenda nyumbani kumsaidia. Kumsaidia. Sasa hivi uko free. Niko free. Wow. <laughs> Ongeza makofi mengi sahihi. Hallelujah before you is Madam Jean Munishi from Seychelles. In the past three weeks she fell and had spinal cord dislocation. She went to the hospital. She was told to go to the hospital that an MRI test was performed. She thought that people were pretending. She then felt an electric shock during prayers and was amazed. She also questions herself from time to time if it was real. Her feet were in shock as an electric shock had passed through her. She felt as if a nail was plugged into her. When 
When she got up, her mother hugged her and asked her if she was in pain. She could not believe what went on. She then told her mother that she should believe for God was there. On the screen, you have seen how her healing occurred during the prayer session. She is testifying that she feels like running unstoppable, as you have seen on the screen how she was running. But also, she feels good and healed. Her advice to people who are watching Hallelujah TV is these people are not are not pretending God is with us if you believe you will be healed you should have faith in God for he does wonders in your life her mother is also thanking God as before she used to assist her from time to time but now she can do her daily chores as she is free hallelujah let's put our hands together for this wonderful testimony Jean Munishi anashuhudia pia kuwa alikuwa na changamoto ya kisukari ambapo alikuwa hawezi kula vyakula vya aina mbalimbali lakini mara baada ya kukanyaga katika kanisa la Omega alipata kibali kikuu na kuweza kuponywa ugonjwa wa kisukari na hivi sasa anavyoshuhudia ni kwamba anaweza kula aina mbalimbali ya vyakula alivyokuwa hawezi kula kabla ya hapo I have two other more testimonies I'm sorry to take your time. You are I have to testify because God has done wonders for me. Wow. You know? I am diabetic for almost 15 years. But I'm on medication. Na nimejaribu kila njia all the diets, all the rules kwa ugonjwa wa sukari, usile sijui nini, usile nini. All the good things are not good for us diabetics. All the sweet things are sisi kwetu ni haram wanasema. But unfortunately after the prayers from Friday night jana sikusema namtesti Mungu no i said nimepona nimekula chips na kuku na soda mbili kula hivyo hujai kuona chakula maisha ni mwako utalala usiku you are eating so much i've never seen you eat so much unavimbiwa you will not sleep i say let me eat this is my time i am not diabetic anymore <laughs> Mwambie jina lako kiamua kumwaibisha shetani mwaibishe mpaka aombe po. Na baada ya kula hivyo usiki chochote. Natamani kula tena. Mi nataka nikupe chakula sasa hapa. Kwa sababu unatamani kula, nataka nikupe kitu kikubwa. Nilikuwa nimeandaa kumbe kidogo. Ndio maana nisikia rohoni mwangu kwamba nikupe kitu chakula. Maana inawezekana Kale mpaka Hallelujah, Madam Jean also has another testimony. She is also here to testify of how she has been diabetic for over 15 years. She could not eat various food substances, but after the night of Omega, she has been able to eat various food substances that she could not eat before. But also, you have seen of how the man of God, Prophet S. S. Solinga, has given her a watermelon to eat, in which before she had limits in eating the watermelon. But she is testifying that it has no sugar and she is diabetic free and she also says it's her own hallelujah let's put our hands together for this wonderful testimony Pigia yesu makof neno la mungu linasema katika marko kumina sita mstari wa kumina nane nao wataweka mikono yao juu ya wagonjwa nao watapata afya jean munishi alipata afya mara baada kuwekewa mkono na mtu wa mungu na b s s relinga Nguvu ya Omega ni Yesu Kristo. Hallelujah TV. Changing the world from pain to praise.